Hey guys, Amy Mariki here. I just wanted to say what's up. <laughs> um, actually, no, that's not what I wanted to say. I actually wanted to come on and talk to you today about the subject of setting really healthy boundaries and taking care of yourself. So this came up in conversation today and I thought that it was a really important point to share because I know so many people can relate to this feeling of being really stretched for time, feeling really overwhelmed, feeling really busy, and they feel depleted and they may feel like their energy is just leaking out everywhere and to everyone. And I think a lot of us uh, really want to be giving. We really do want to be there to support people. We really do want to show up and give our best and be all that we can be to everyone around us, but we forget the most important point is we actually have to fill our own cup first. Because if our cup is empty, how are we supposed to give to someone else? And so what it requires to fill up this cup is setting boundaries in our life and prioritizing self-care and time for ourselves, whatever that may look like. Maybe that looks like uh, scheduling in a self-care date, right? Like setting aside Monday night being like, tonight I'm going to have a bath and I'm going to read a book and I'm going to turn my phone on airplane mode. And if someone invites me to something, um, I'm going to move past that FOMO fear and say, you know what? I'm fully committed that night. And... Um, I want to just address that like sometimes we feel a lot of guilt and a lot of shame when it comes up to turning down invitations or turning down supporting our friends and our family um, in order to honor ourselves. Um, so that that shame and that guilt is natural to feel that way because like as a society that's what we've been conditioned and that's what we've been told that if you create time to take care of yourself, then you're actually being really selfish. But it's honestly one of the most loving things you can do for yourself in order to show up at the best capacity that you can for other people in your life. So I just wanted to reframe that. I just wanted to uh, give you permission to fully commit to yourself first and to fully fill up your own cup first. And in doing so, um, you are able to give your gifts and you are able to shine your light brighter and uh, you won't be missing out, right? Like there's, there's a, t a time and a place for everything. And if you're feeling depleted and you say yes to something and you really wanted to set a boundary and say no, when you show up, you're actually not fully present and you're not really uh, giving your best energy and the people around you are going to be able to feel that, right? They're going to feel that like maybe you really didn't want to go to that birthday party or maybe um, you kind of wish you didn't go to that event or you're kind of tired and wish you were just at home in bed early. Um, that energy has a vibration and it also affects the people around you. So just be mindful of like, making sure that you're doing what you need to do to feel good in your life and that you're saying yes to the things that you really want to say yes to and you have permission to say no thank you to the things that just don't feel like a good match at that time. So yeah, maybe give that a try in your life. Uh, see how you feel. Um, see if you have more energy and let me know. Let me know how that goes for you. Let me know if you have any questions too about setting clear boundaries with people and uh, honoring yourself and self-care. And like and share this video if this resonated or if it helped you out. And yeah, I will see you soon. Cool. Good jam. Bye.